Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Monday. Do you feel like the weekend went by too fast? Well, don't worry. Today, we are reliving a couple of fun highlights from the weekend with KGW digital reporter Destiny Johnson. And I like that we're having you on to review some of the highlights of the weekend because while you were out covering the exciting things, I was basically just sleeping. Um, so thank you for going out and doing the diligence of uh, being around town in Portland. So welcome, Destiny. Thank you. Rub it in, why don't you? You got to sleep all weekend while I was, you know, Only until like, like 2 p.m., but you know, that's fine. <laughs> I was also editing our review. Okay, so one thing that you got to go to this weekend was Portland IndieCon because yes, we call you a resident comics expert. You host a show or host a whole YouTube channel for KGW Comic Pick of the Week, but then you know you do serious investigative stuff things too. But what was IndieCon all about? IndieCon was great. So it was a, a whole Comic Con dedicated to small press and people who. Um, make comics on their own. So anybody from people who are making zines at their kitchen table to people who publish with Image and Dark Horse but are still considered, you know, small time comic creators, which is amazing. We have such a budding comic community here in Portland. And so it was really great to celebrate some of these artists. And there was art to buy and people to talk to. And it, it really was, it was our own Comic Con. It was so cool. Yeah, because I mean, if people don't know, if you're not into the whole Portland comic scene, there is a huge scene. There are a lot of creators, like big time comic creators in Portland, but then here you got to meet some of the more independent, like up and coming ones. Yeah, of. not only up and coming, but people who've been in the game for a long time, but choose to publish sort of small press and or, or publish themselves, which is so amazing. It was such a DIY spirit and people who were really willing to talk about art and stuff like that. It was so great and it was the first year. So it was really great to see the people coming in and really responding well because I want this to do well for all the local creators. Right, so hopefully it'll be back again. Yeah, yes. you're so hoping that, I mean, um, David Ed Edwards, who put this together, he said, you know, that this, is, they were really hopeful, you know, the creating this was pretty easy, he said. Okay, well, I'm excited about that. Now, okay, another event that you got to cover this weekend, mm -hmm. not happening for the first time ever in Portland. It's been around, I don't even know how many years, but the naked bike ride, another <laughs> one that I was watching from the comfort of, of my couch. Actually, I just, this just, I just remembered this. I was walking, I was trying to go downtown to get food, and all of a sudden I was like, why is there a cop checking where I'm parking? Oh, the naked bikers are coming. So I, I almost got caught in the middle of it. But you were watching? I was. Or well, working? Well, you were working. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's, yeah. I was, yes, I was working the event and thousands of people came. I, I you know, I'm not from here, so I've never witnessed a naked bike ride before. And all oh, gosh, I hadn't thought about glory. the fact that you would have never seen this before. Yeah, I think they were hazing me a little bit. Hey, go photograph this. <laughs> Did not tell me what it was about at all, but it was amazing. So Did many you people... put a lot of like blurry filters on here so we can't <laughs> see any naked bodies? Because I was a little worried about that. <laughs> yeah, so many it's people came Monday, together. <laughs> it was so cool. And I, I think that, you know, it's great. It's really Portland showing out, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, did you, did you see a lot of people like lining the streets watching or were most people just kind of some people Same had back. like lawn chairs and were just like spectating. Oh, I felt oh people. Yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Popcorn, kids with like snacks.